Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 3G on the 3.0 firmware. This will work with the iPhone 3G, the iPod Touch and the first gen iPhone. Uh, it's really very simple and will take about 10 minutes to do. But first you're going to need to download a few things. You're going to need to download the Pwnage tool application which is right here. And you're going to need to download the iPhone 3.0 cust uh, original restore from iTunes. Yeah, you can either get it from iTunes or you can download it through my link in the description. iTunes is the easiest way, but um, if you want to, you can use my link. After you've downloaded both of these things, we're going to open up Ponytail. Tool. After you've opened up Ponytail, Tool, it'll just give you a copyright iPhone dev team. Don't worry about this, just click OK. Nothing will happen to your phone. It's always fixable, so you don't have to worry. Click on Xbox Expert Mode, which is right here. Then you're going to click on iPhone 3G. Or if you have an iPod Touch, you click on iPod Touch or iPhone, you have to click on an iPhone. Since I have an iPhone 3G, I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to click the blue arrow down the bottom, which clicks Next. Now this will automatically find your IPSW. Okay, here, here it is, the iPhone uh, 3.0 7A341 IPSW Restore. You just click on that and a big tick will come next to it, then you click the Next button here. Now what we're going to do is click on General. Uh, you can, if your phone activates through a plan, uncheck it, which mine does, but if it doesn't, you can activate it, which will activate it without the plan. After you've done, after you've set your, and leave enabled ba baseband update checked. Okay, once you've done this, click next. Uh, boot new to settings, this can't be done on the iPhone, but you can unlock it, which you'll be happy to hear, and I'll show you that in another video, I'm not going to explain it now. But this is just for the first gen iPhone. After you've done that, click next again. Uh, don't worry about all this, just keep, keep going. Uh, now you have the option to install Cydia and Icy. I install both because I uh, like them both, but if you don't want Icy, you can uncheck it. Okay, now I like the custom logo with the silver apple, but I don't like the Steve Jobs with some weird writing here, so I'm going to uncheck that and keep this. But if you uncheck the, you can browse for your own one or you can uncheck that and keep the original logos for boot up. After you've decided what you want to do there, click next and then click the big build option here and click build. Uh, after you've done this, click save and it will save it straight to the desktop. Uh, I'll be back when this is done building. Okay guys, now that we're back, uh, you're going to need to turn uh, your phone on if it's off and you're going to need to plug it into the USB port. And if iTunes pops up, close that. So once you've plugged it into the USB port, uh, we're going to click no right here. Don't worry about clicking this, just click no no matter what. Okay? Okay, now it's going to ask you to turn off your device. So turn off your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Wait for it to turn off, and then we're going to click the power button and the home button together it'll wait five seconds to give you a chance to do it. Okay, so once you've done this, it's telling you in five seconds to press the power button and the home button. So hold that down for 10 seconds. You've got a timer in the top left to tell you, so this is really simple. Okay, release the power button. Do this exactly as I'm showing you right now. Okay, now we're in DFU mode. Click OK. And if iTunes didn't pop up, open iTunes. Okay, now to recognize it and say your iPhone is in recovery mode. From here, we're going to click the option key as I show you in the video and on the desktop is our custom restore make sure you read it it says iPhone 1-2 3.0 custom restore it has to say custom in it so once you've done that click open and what we're going to do now is let the iPhone restore to a jailbreak instead um, I'll be back when it's done Okay guys, so now we have the finished jailbreak of the iPhone 3G and as you can see as I scroll to this next page, it has Cydia and Icy in it. Um, thanks for watching guys, uh, rate, comment, subscribe please, uh, peace.